Kirana. My name is Tamato Toria. So I was diagnosed with uh, diabetes in 2017. Um, it actually came about when I was at an event and I wasn't feeling very well. Um, I kind of fainted. Uh, luckily, there was a nurse that was nearby. Um, she kind of came to the rescue. I had really high like sugar level readings. Um, so I, had, I was in the hospital for about a week after that. I wasn't too surprised. Uh, in my family, on uh, my father's side, we've got a history of diabetics. Uh, I kind of was praying and hoping that I wouldn't have inherited that, but um, obviously I did. But um, I think at the time I, w I was kind of, you know, I was kind of hurt, I was sad for a bit. But then at the same time I was like, you know, I hadn't really been living a really good lifestyle up until then. Like, you know, because you're young and you, you think you can do whatever you want, um, you kind of eat all the things that you want to eat, uh, drink all the, you know, the high sugar um, drinks, things like that. And a lot of, lot of sugary stuff, a um, lot of things that have a um, lot of carbs inside. So yeah, it was a lot of bad eating back then. When I first was diagnosed back in, in 2017, um, you know, for the first few months, you know, wanting to, to not be on medication was kind of the big push that um, that kind of got me into a lifestyle change. So, you know, eating, eating healthier, um, cooking more at home, uh, incorporating a lot more vegetables and um, protein into the meals and trying to have less carbs, um, cutting out all the, the sugary things. Um, that, so it was that and also the fact that I had to take um, medication which was both the, the jabs and the, um, the tablets. The jabs was kind of the things that really um, pushed me to not want to, to carry on that type of medication so eating healthy was um, one of the ways that I could you know, kind of get off it and also um, incorporating a bit more exercise into the lifestyle. Um, so for the first, I'd say like the first few months that um, I was diagnosed and I kind of went through that process. It was good, like, I was really good, really strict. Um, I lost a few kilos, not as, not as much as I had hoped back then, but you know, it was still good and it was good to see the results. Um, after that, I kind of fell off the, the wagon though. Um, so I wasn't really taking my, the jabs, but I was still taking the, um, the tablets. And then for a, for a long time in between that, um, I kind of really stopped coming in for the regular checkups because I kind of thought like, you know, I've, I've got this on lockdown, I can, I can carry on with it. But um, earlier this year, I came, I came in just for a checkup, just, I thought, ah, oh, let's just go for another checkup just in case. Only to find out that I haven't actually been doing very, very well during that time. In, like for me, it was, it was hard at first. Um, and it actually has been hard throughout the whole journey. There's a lot of um, little sacrifices here and there that you kind of have to do, and you're doing it for yourself. Um, and it's good to have um, you know, your family to support you, even friends. Um, and you know, when, when they see the changes in the lifestyle that you're doing, the, the encouragement that they give you is, you know, it kind of helps boost your confidence. Family is a good, good boost to that as well. Um, you know, they're always, helping you, uh, especially when you're trying to be naughty, sometimes like, they kind of catch you out and they say, oh, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, you know, you might get a little miffed with them, but uh, you know, they're doing it for you as well. Like they're trying to help you. Um, so yeah, it's been good. Uh, family's been really supportive during this time. Uh, so doing these lifestyle changes, um, it's, it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. I've lost, uh, you know, this year I've lost about 10 kilos. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you want to see a before picture. <laughs> I don't want to see it. But yeah, it's been really good. Um, and you, know, you get a lot more energy, you feel a lot more, um, that you can do a lot more, you're waking up a bit early, um, being more active. Uh, yeah, it's been, feels really good to, to come, kind of come out of it. Um, still haven't really reached my, my weight loss goal, but yeah, I'm still going with it.
you know, one of the, the main things that you can kind of do, you know, is to still, you know, eat healthy, try cooking at home. Um, I know sometimes it can be a bit hard, especially, you know, when time can be an issue. Um, and reach out to other others out there. Uh, if you can find like a, a group of people that are kind of going through the same thing that you're going through, that's that's kind of good as well. Um, during this this year, I kind of found a couple of people, and we've been, you know, just supporting each other and messaging each other, just doing our regular updates, saying, you know, just checking up on each other. Oh, you know, how are you today? What did you have for dinner? Um, how's your reading? Uh, did you go at this size? Like just. Just the regular catch-ups and just sharing of information is, is kind of what can get you through through this 